When directional control is established, use a normal rotation rate. The airplane should become airborne at 10 to 11 degrees pitch and may require more elevator force than a normal takeoff due to the elevator trim being set for two engine performance. After a positive rate of climb is established, the pilot flying calls gear up and the pilot not flying verifies the positive rate of climb and retracts the landing gear. Gear up. The flight director pitch command will provide a speed of V2 to V2 plus 20 knots. The pilot flying must limit bank angle to 15 degrees until airspeed reaches V2 plus 15 knots. When passing 400 feet, the pilot flying calls for the appropriate roll mode. Heading select. In this case, heading select. When the airplane is under control and safely climbing above 400 feet, the pilot flying calls each recall item on the engine fire, severe damage, or separation checklist. The first item is to close the thrust lever. Thrust lever close. The pilot flying confirms with the pilot not flying the affected engine. Confirm number two engine. Number two engine confirmed. Disengaging the auto throttle will prevent undesired auto throttle activity. Auto throttle disengage. The flashing auto throttle disconnect light can be extinguished by pressing the throttle disconnect switch again or by pressing the disconnect light. Next item is to move the start lever to cut off. Verify number two start lever to cut off. Verified number two start lever to cut off. Pulling the engine fire warning switch will close the fuel, engine bleed air, and hydraulic shutoff valves. It will also deactivate the engine-driven hydraulic pump low pressure light, trip the generator field, and close the thrust reverser isolation valve. Pull the number two fire switch. Number two fire switch pulled. If the engine still has a fire, or if the engine overheat light is on, Rotate the fire warning switch and hold for one second to discharge the fire retardant in the engine. Is the engine fire or overheat warning light still on? Yes. Rotate the number two fire switch. The right bottle discharge light is eliminated. Start timing for 30 seconds. Allow 30 seconds for the retardant to extinguish the fire. Timing has started. For performance considerations, it is necessary to accelerate and retract the flaps while still performing the engine fire procedure. At flap retraction altitude, 800 feet in training, the pilot flying calls for the MCP speed bug to be set to the flaps up maneuver speed, 210 knots at this weight. If takeoff path is obstacle limited, it may be necessary to use zero rate of climb. Set speed 210. The flight director will provide appropriate pitch command for acceleration. Number two engine overheat and fire warning lights are extinguished. Thank you. Flaps should be retracted utilizing speed tape or maneuvering speed schedule. Flaps one. Check master caution. An engine failure will turn on the master caution, some enunciator lights, and some lights on the overhead panel. The master caution and enunciator lights are consistent with an engine failure and fire. Reset master caution. As the airplane accelerates, less rudder input is required to maintain directional control. Flaps up. When the airspeed reaches the flaps up maneuvering speed, the pilot flying calls for level change. Level change. 
the flight director pitch will command the MCP selected speed. Remain in level change until all obstructions are cleared. Set continuous thrust. Max continuous thrust is set. If the airplane is in trim, the autopilot may be used to reduce workload. Select A autopilot to command. Any speed or thrust change will require rudder trim adjustment. When all the memory items are completed and the airplane is in a clean configuration with continuous thrust set, the pilot flying calls for completion of the engine fire checklist. Engine fire checklist. Engine fire, severe damage or separation checklist. Thrust lever close. Closed. Auto throttle, disengage. Disengage. Start lever, cut off. Cut off. Engine fire warning switch pull. Switch is pulled, the fire is out. Isolation valve switch close. Closing the isolation valve switch will prevent a source of airflow for a fire. It's closed. Closed. APU bleed air switch off. The APU bleed air switch in the off position will ensure that bleed air will not enter the system when the APU is started. APU bleed air switch off. It's off. Off. APU, if available, start and on bus. Start the APU. APU is starting. The checklist should be stopped until the APU is started. This is a good time to advise ATC and request clearance to return for landing if possible. Advise ATC of our problem. Request 5,000 feet radar vectors for an ILS. Okay. Grant County Tower, Boeing Trainer 33 has an emergency requesting 5,000 feet and radar vectors for an ILS approach. Boeing Trainer 33, turn right, heading 140. For vectors to ILS runway 32 right, maintain 5,000. It's clear right. Turn right, heading 140, maintain 5,000, Boeing Trainer 33. We're out of 4,500 for 5,000. When the APU is up to speed and the blue APU gen off bus light is on, the APU generator should be placed on the right bus. Now you can continue with the checklist. The APU is available. APU generator on the bus. Fuel balance. Checking the fuel quantity gauges will tell you if fuel balancing is necessary. Balance the fuel. If fuel balance is necessary, use the supplementary normal procedure. Transponder mode selector, TA. With an engine failure, performance capabilities are reduced for resolution advisories. TA. TA. If wing anti-ice is required. If wing anti-ice is required, it is necessary to turn the pack off on the affected side. This action will open the isolation valve if the switch is in auto, allowing air from the operating engine to cross over and provide heat to the opposite wing. If the fire has not been extinguished, do not open the isolation valve. The TAT is 14 degrees. Any ice not required. The engine fire, severe damage, or separation checklist is complete, down to the one engine and operative landing checklist. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Air conditioning is set, pressurization will return for landing. Start switches are off, landing gear is up and off, flaps are up, no lights, after takeoff checklist complete. Boeing Trainer 33, descend to 3000. 
Boeing Trainer 33 is leaving 5,000 for 3,000. This completes the engine failure with fire after V1 takeoff procedure. The master caution lights for an off-schedule descent. Reset master caution. 